hello everyone which is the structure this is the mesosome what is mesosome what is its function today we are going to study much many more about the mesosome in today's lecture let us continue the today's lecture with the structure of the mesosome these mesosomes are the invaginations of the plasma membrane or cytoplasmic membrane which are primarily observed in the gram positive bacteria they are more prominent in gram positive bacteria it was first observed in 1953 by the george champman and james hillier which are first observed by this scientist in the bacterial cell and these they are known as the peripheral bodies they call them they refer them as the peripheral bodies but later on in 1959 they were called as the mesosome by the scientist j d robertson so this structure which are observed as a peripheral bodies was referred by j d robertson as a term mesosome he introduced the term mesosomes so regarding the mesosome initially it was thought that the mesosomes might play a role in the several cellular process such as cell wall formation during the cell division chromosome replication or a site for the oxidative phosphorylation when they were first observed it was thought that they may have such type of the function in the bacterial cell but it was not found further one in the next study they not found they are not carrying this all this function then how they occur they are found may in the gram negative bacteria also but they are more frequent in the gram positive bacteria and these are particularly much more well developed in the bacilli as compared to the cocci so overall these are most common in gram positive bacilli overall as though we have mentioned that they are prominent in the gram positive bacteria particularly the bacilli as compared to the cocci and as compared to the gram negative bacteria they are more prominently seen so overall these are more prominent in gram positive bacilli let us come to the structure of the mesosome so these are nothing but the invaginated cell membrane with many vesicles and tubules which are filling this invagination so they form by invagination of the cytoplasmic membrane and they get filled with the vesicles and tubular structure and as their invagination the lipid components are found to be similar to the cytoplasmic membrane or the cell membrane but their protein content differ as compared to the cell membrane secondly these uh, mesosomes having the various features such as they are not analogous to the mitochondria just i have told that they may be the site of the oxidative phosphorylation which is uh, commonly seen in the eukaryotic cell in case of the mitochondria but here they were thought as similar to the mitochondria but further it was confirmed that they are not analogous or not similar to the mitochondria which is seen in the gram uh, eukaryotic cell these are also devoid of the membrane enzymes and electron transport chain components so this uh, one of the feature also differ that they are not uh, analogous to the mitochondria because they are totally devoid of the membrane enzymes and they are uh, also devoid of the electron transport chain component which are not seen in the mesosome so this feature help them to differ from the mitochondria and you can see here the structure which is invaginated structure which is filled with the tubules and uh, sacs which are seen inside the invagination so this was about the structure of the mesosome whose exact function is not known although it was considered as a site of the uh, as a division of the cell but exact function is still not known about the mesosome 